will take all my Would skill not. and finesse. And ah, nah, what the hell, I'll just shoot him in the head. Ooh. Yeah. He didn't look okay. No. Uh oh. They can be quick too. Yeah. Oh! It's it's hard to fight them. It's like even if you're winning the fight, you're likely to get some crap on you, and it hurts you. So this is the not a zombie of this game. Yeah, these are the not zombies. Here in the ruin, here in the ruins of not London. Oh, this is this is kind of interesting. Short, but I'm so I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting or ever again, for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the results of our labors here for you to keep, but I expect that the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. Oh. They don't specify what, but the process of making that bone charm was... not pleasant. And that's a recurring thing, um, by the way. When you, whenever you find like bone charms or runes, oftentimes you'll find like notes or logbooks or whatever implying disturbing activity or people having nightmares and going crazy, or they're just not good to have around. Basically, that's the long and short of it. the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. All right. Well, at least someone appreciates me around here. <laughs> I bet Wallace will yell at you next. I trust you Probably. Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope for you. Because you've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custer. Uh -oh. Not only are they controlling Emily, Oh, yes. They have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Well, we've got our, our two assignments. Well, three if you count both murders as separate assignments. I don't. The Golden Cat. Subtle. Yep. It's... It's a classy joint. You know, it's... Where classy people like Trevor's snake-loving brothers go. Now it's, we've got four runes here. Let's try out a new power. Wind Blast is a lot of fun. I'll just say that. And you'll see some of that fun soon enough. Anything that can hurl people significant distances in a game. Always good times. This is my favorite part of uh, Jedi Outcast. I know the Golden Cat. Not as a patron. I'm some specialized device. Oh. Kept blue. I'm sorry, I only thought <laughs> Oh never mind. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. I I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> there's like some there's like some whale fueled steam powered Sibian humming away upstairs. <laughs> Black smoke belching out of the boilers. I was going to say, uh, in another life, Piero designed Fisto Roboto himself. <laughs> I'm getting a frequency reverberation that confounds some of my experiments. What experiments are these, Piero? I suspect there are some kind of empty chambers beneath the 
What's reverberating? Oh, it's all I can think of now. And there's there's, there's guys like shoveling coal into this big furnace to keep it going. It's powerful. Just the man I needed to speak with. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're whole, you know. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they thing are around his neck looks like a, we cannot gather like a Cub Scout scarf. Stop the Lord Regent from further oh, it kind of does. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with them to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted and quarantined for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen. They'll be at the Golden Cat's Night at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch. So it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Now, did he, did he, or did he not ask Campbell's that you try, that you, uh, expected. try not to kill them? No, he never suggested anything like that, no. Okay. Because I, I could have sworn he did. And I was going to say that in my run, when you come back with them... Yeah, what happens if you, uh, didn't do the, if you did the non-lethal? Um, the total, or just with him? No, just with him. Uh, just with him, he, he still, like, Acts like you killed them. Okay. Well, you well you did, well you did have them shipped off to like the silver mines or something to be worked to death and have their tongues cut out, right? Yeah, and their heads shaved. Um, but later he finds out where they are and leaves you two gold bars. <laughs> what is a thank you? Thanks. Yeah. What for for, for? for not killing them or for making them suffer? I think it's both. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. Thank you. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Yeah. Lord Pendleton's the best at what he does, and what he does ain't pretty. <laughs> See, you did. You're right. Yeah, I, I, I was, I was zooming in without the mask. I've got a cyber eye as well, I guess. <laughs> it's also powered by whale oil. There's just this canister you have to pour into your head. <laughs> Another one of Piero's inventions. I'll get you as close as I can to the golden cat for Invented for peeping. Yeah, now, for this mission, we actually return to our previous location for a while. Or, but we go off in a different direction. Broad daylight this time, though. Yeah. That you know anything about it. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't poison it. I, I didn't kill hundreds of innocents whose only crime was to not be able to afford the, the regular elixir. Stop looking at me. What a bizarre question, Samuel. Doesn't make you better than me. <laughs> oh, check it out. That, now we see oh, this is one of these watchtowers. These are pretty cool. And if you're playing high chaos, you can have kind of more fun with them than it's possible in low chaos. Because remember the rewire tools? Yes. They let you uh, fiddle with control panels? Well, we'll see soon enough. Whoop. Some guy's trying to get across there. Let's not go well for them. Well, they're standing stock still. Oh! Well, that, that thing nearly hit me. I could have been hurt. Such a. I'm not sure if those guys are weepers or if they're just people trying to break in there for some reason. I'm doing a bad job at it. Quite a few, no, no visible runes, but quite a few bone charms. Mm. 
You can hear it. Listen, you can hear it in the distance rattling away. It's quite noisy. Oh, the watchtower. Yeah. And actually, if um, on low chaos, there's only one of them in this stage. In high, cha high chaos, there's two. I believe there's another one later on that isn't there if you're playing low chaos. Ooh, you've... That's the way to do it. For Splash. Uh-oh, someone here? Throwing suspicion? Yeah, there's quite a few guards here. So you gotta proceed carefully. You also have to be careful trying to use blink to get over that wall, because if you miss it right, you can land on top of the wall, and those spikes will hurt you. Uh, seems like they thought of a lot. Yeah, see those rows of pointiness. Yeah, as long as you gi give give it time to you know recharge right after it's used, you can you can use the uh, dark vision as much as you want with no permanent uh, cost. These towers they don't appear to have anyone in them. They're just purely automated, I guess. So what runs them? Oh, there's, there's a, when you go up, there's a whale oil tank in them. But the whale oil can't choose to kill. Maybe it can. Maybe it's not only an energy source, maybe it has its own malign intelligence. I'm assuming not, but I'd like to believe that. 